Russian President Vladimir Putin claims that Ukraine's counteroffensive has been unsuccessful, with its army suffering major losses. Speaking at a meeting of war correspondents, he said that Kyiv's losses were approaching a catastrophic level. That has not been verified, and Ukrainian President Zelensky has denied the counteroffensive is failing. There is movement forward, he said in his nightly video address. He thanked Ukrainian troops for every step and every meter of Ukrainian land that is being liberated from Russian evil. This was echoed by Valery Zalozny, the commander-in-chief of the country's armed forces, who wrote on Telegram there had been some successes, we are implementing our plans moving forward. On Tuesday, Mrs. Zelensky again called for tougher sanctions to halt the flow of weapon components, some of which he said were being manufactured by Ukraine's partner countries. He said that Russia was using such components to build the type of missiles that on Tuesday struck an apartment building and warehouses in Krovi Riv, killing 11 people and wounding dozens more. Meanwhile, Ukraine's military declared on Wednesday that Russian losses in the past 24 hours had included 680 soldiers, eight tanks and an air defense system. Both sides get daily claims about enemy casualties, which are impossible to verify. Kyiv's counteroffensive is in its early stages, and modest gains have been made in the eastern Donetsk and southeastern Zaporizhia regions. Ms. Zelensky has also claimed advances in Bakhmut. But the situation is not as clear-cut as the triumphant claims of liberation that came from Kyiv earlier this week. Ukraine's military has shared footage of what it says is a targeted drone strike taking out a Russian T-80 tank. The tank was taken out in the Kupiansk direction, which sweeps through the northeast Ukrainian region of Kharkiv. By the Ukrainian 92nd Separate Mechanized Brigade, the General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces, set in a post to social media on Monday. Ukraine frequently shares footage, typically filmed using drones, showing the destruction of Russian military equipment and vehicles, including tanks. In the clip posted by the general staff on Monday, the camera zeroes in on the tank, before cutting to a shot of the tank on fire. A Russian tank crew member then appears to clamber on top of the damaged vehicle, before a second person appears to the side of the tank. The video then cuts to what looks to be a bomb being dropped to the side of the tank, which is pulled up on the side of the road and no longer ablaze. Russia has lost 301 T-80 BV tanks and 94 T-80U tanks as of Monday morning. An additional 91 T-80 tanks of varying models have also been lost, according to the Oryx data with seven unspecified T-80 tanks also taken out of action. However, this figure only reflects visually confirmed losses, so the true tally could be higher. Russia does not provide totals for its military losses. According to figures published by the General Staff on Monday morning, Russia lost five tanks in the previous 24-hour period. This brings Ukraine's count of Russian tank losses since the start of full-scale war in February 2022 to 3,931. Over the past three days, the defense forces of Ukraine have advanced in some areas of the front from 200 meters to 1.4 kilometers and liberated an area of about three square kilometers. Citing spokesman for the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Andriy Kovalyov, in the Burdians' direction, fighting continues in the area of Makarivka village. Battles are also ongoing in the area of Novodanilivka and Novopokrovka villages, Kovalyov said. 
It is noted that the enemy has increased the number of missile and airstrikes. In particular, last night the enemy launched K-22 cruise missiles, Calibre sea-based cruise missiles, and used shade UAVs to attack the infrastructure facilities in Kharkiv, Donetsk, Kirovorad, and Odessa regions. On the night of June 14, the Ukrainian Air Defense Forces destroyed three out of four enemy caliber cruise missiles, as well as nine out of ten Shade 100 and 36 100 and 31st drones. In particular, from the waters of the Black Sea, the enemy fired caliber cruise missiles at Odessa. Three missiles were shot down, while one hit a civilian object. From the eastern coast of the Sea of Azov, the Russian forces launched ten Iranian made Shade 100 and 36-100 and 31st attack drones into the southern direction.